There's lots of options when you're looking to invest in five axis technology. I'm standing in front of one of the latest Hercom five axis machining centres and I'm with Andy. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. So, this VMX42 SRTI five axis machine is a little different to other machines on the market. This has got a C axis integrated into the table and a B axis head. Why would somebody go for a machine like this, Andy? It gives you the versatility to be able to use it like a conventional three axis machine, having the larger table size for large components. But then you can also utilize the C axis or smaller components with a tilting B axis. So what's the, the, the axis travel in the X? Uh, the X axis is a meter. So essentially, like a three axis machine in centre or a meter machine in centre, you could do the same sort of pass Absolutely. as you could do on a yeah, BMC. Yeah. Yes, you could just turn the C axis off and just use it like a three axis machine, but still with versatility of a tilting B axis. So if you were looking to do angled holes or Absolutely. milling on angles, yeah. Yeah. you can position it, lock it, and That's then it. machine. Yeah, machine at any angle, yeah. It looks quite a big machine. How, what, what sort of weight? I mean, uh, it's seven and a half metric ton. Okay. And what sort of weight of component could you actually get on, um, the, on the fixed table? On the main table, using the large components, about 1,300 kilos. And then on the C-axis, um, with the C-axis rotating, it's about 500 kilos. So let's talk about full five-axis simultaneous machining. This machine will do that, as yes. well as three plus two. Absolutely, yes. We, we can program it, the full simultaneous five-axis programming, straight onto the control here, on the machine. So no CAD CAM needed? No CAD CAM needed, no. It's straight in there. So an operator who was used to Winmax control could come onto the control and yeah. actually create yeah. a program for a five axis simultaneous That's right. part. Yeah, after, after their, their three days training course, they'll be uh, able to program full uh, simultaneous five axis pro machine programs. Okay, and then on the back to the machine itself, BT40? It is, yes. You have the option. Okay, and a, and, and a, a spindle of what sort of speed? It's 12,000 RPM, direct drive spindle called spindle as well? It is called and it's ceramic bearings on this one. Right. And then on the tool changer? Uh, 40 tools. 40 tools. Is there any options on that? Can you uh, go for more? I don't suppose you'd need to. Would you? No, I think on this machine we're just standard 40 tool, tool changer. Okay, so then onto the control. One of the things that we've um, has been highlighted to me in a few news articles recently is the Ultimotion. Right. Talk to me about this new um, new feature. Yeah, the new new Ultimotion. What it does, it's it's on when it's running NC programs from the CAD CAM system. It's actually reading ten thousand lines ahead, and and it's, it's able to sort of like calculate its path, a more efficient path within the tolerance of their program. Um, this creates thirty percent faster machining cycles. So have you when when you first introduced this, did you have two parts and one was made? 30% yeah, quicker. Absolutely, yeah. We had a program that we used on a, as a demonstration part. It was a mould for a, a plastic drinks bottle, and which is actually in production. Um, we had that program, we ran it, and it was fine. It's been running for years. We then ran it on this machine with um, Ultimotion on version 9 software, and it ran 30% faster. And the finish was better as well. Right, right. So it wasn't just cycle time. It wasn't it was just cycle time. Finish, finish quality was a lot better. Quality component. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And then we've got dual screens here. So this is different to some of the other Herco yeah. machines where you've got single screen, you've got yeah. two screens. Yeah. We tend to put the twin screen on the VMXs, uh, the higher spec machines. Um, they program exactly the same way as a single screen. All the buttons on the controls are exactly the same, they're just laid out slightly differently. The advantage of the twin screen is you have your component up there on the right-hand screen and you, you, you're putting your information on the left-hand screen. So you've got both screens at the same time. So you can watch essentially yes. watch what you're doing. Yes, right. you can see exactly what, what you're programming um, as you're programming it. Okay, that's good. And now on, back onto the machine then. In terms of loading, nice access, the height, I suppose from, a, from an operator yeah. perspective, yeah, it's, yeah. it's waist height, which is, yeah, which is fine, ideal. Yeah. Yeah. So Easy access for forklifts, etc. So it's wide open on the top. And then the Y axis, is there over 600 in the Y? 610 on the Y axis. So the big question, why would you go for a Herco machine like this? Well, the, av the ability to program it straight on control, okay, which increases programming time. It suits the, uh, the, the, the people who are doing short batch work, where they may be doing two or three different components on the machine in a day. Um, so because you're able to program and machine at the same time and program your next job whilst it's machining one job, it just gives you that versatility. And, and do you find a lot, being an applications engineer here, you have engineers that come in that look for a three-axis machine but actually go away, 
thinking, why don't I go for five? Well, we do. We are seeing that a lot more. They come in thinking three axis is the, is the norm. They see five axis machines and it, it makes them realise that they can actually increase their cycle times by one setup. They've machined all parts of the job. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, I think from my perspective, I know five axis is definitely becoming much more popular. It is, it is. And one more thing, through spindle coolant, high pressure coolant. Yeah. Obviously, if you're doing five axis machining, simultaneous machining, these types of features are options on the machine? Um, they come as standard uh, coolant through spindle on this machine. Oh, okay. And we have uh, coolant pipes around the back of the machine, back of the head there, which pumps high pressure coolant, or you can have it through the spindle. And then the swarf extraction, a swarf conveyor out the side or yeah, out the, the back? Yeah, out, the, out the side there, conveyor. And uh, we can have wash down as well, so it's washing down the swarf down into the conveyor. So in all, if somebody's looking for a high-performance precision 5-axis yeah. machine, then the VMX 42S RTI gives, you, a lot of versatility. RTI yeah. gives yeah. you the versatility. Yeah. So there we have it. So there are plenty of options in 5-axis machining. If you are looking at that sort of technology, then you should consider the Herco Machining Centre.